Oh, hello, and welcome back to an episode of the Worst Possible Commander Show. Ooh. It's me, it's CGB, and I am casually chilling and here with my friends. Hi, Gina. Hi. Hi, Ben. Hello. Hi, Blake. Well, hello. We're going to play some Commander against each other. We're going to try to beat each other up yeah. in the style of Commander. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> going to battle. And we, on this show, have named it the worst possible because our pregame is to talk about the worst possible things we can do to each other. I'll go first because I, this week, am playing Indominus Rex Alpha, like me, CGB. <laughs> Rex? And, so this is a big dinosaur that when it enters a battlefield, I discard creatures, and it gets a ability counter for each ability on those creatures. And then I draw a card for each ability counter on Indominus Rex. So Jeez. you might think I'm just here to make the perfect hybrid, a big monster with all the possible skills of say a questing beast and an elder Gargaroth combined. And that's true. That is what I'm here to do. But if you guys deal with that big monster, I'm also here to bring back all the things I discard. My worst possible, Rise of the Dark Realms, mm. Living Death, and a new card, Bringer of the Last Gift, will take those giant monsters out of my graveyard, bring them to the battlefield, where they will smash you all. And that is my TED Talk. <laughs> <laughs> Gina, what are you playing? What's your worst possible? Okay, I'm playing Elevere of the Wild Court, and um, she has a lot of animal friends. It's lovely. And when she enters the battlefield or attacks, she will create a virtuous roll token. Mm -hmm. So she's going to enchant her friends. And whenever my enchanted friends deal combat damage, I get to draw a card. So I'm going to just be adding a lot of enchantments to all my friends. And it's going to be a very good time. And the worst thing I can do is Ancestral Mask, which will give a creature plus two, plus two for every enchantment on the entire <laughs> battlefield, mine and yours. So that would be a lot. So yeah. it's a Gina smashy smashy deck, but um, with enchantments. I was gonna it's say, a magical yeah. smashy deck. Surprise, surprise, <laughs> I'm already scared. <laughs> enchanted forest creature smash deck. Mm -hmm. Jeez. Excellent. We're all gonna be dancing around the forest, being enchanting and punching. Perfect. <laughs> That's the dream. <laughs> all right, Ben. What are you playing, and what's your worst possible? Well, the pirates are back, but under a different captain. So I'm, I'm playing Admiral Brass Unsinkable, bringing some pirates back from the gra graveyard, giving them a finality counter. And my worst po possible is more damage for all. With, the pirates uh, remain loyal to me. No, I, I have don't to say. think so. I'm pretty sure I'm the one who ran them last. <laughs> Wait, they're not loyal to nobody. Are they mutiny? <laughs> yeah. So with Angrass Marauders and Dire Fleet Ravager, I'm just gonna multiply that pirate damage. Arr. <laughs> they took off, they mutinied, and they ruined me and my own ship, and they stole me booty. <laughs> How did I end up in this enchanted forest punching things? <laughs> Blake, <laughs> fellow <laughs> mutiny captain. That's Blake. me. Yep. <laughs> What is uh, what? What are you playing? What's your worst possible? I'm bringing back a classic from the Lord of the Rings set, Lord of the Nazgul. So this is the Demir Commander, um, and it's basically a spell slinger deck where I'm making three three wraiths, and I'm making them big, and I'm making them scary, and I'm gonna make them kill you guys. And the worst thing I can do is actually quantum misalignment. So this will make me over the course of two turns two more copies of Lord of the Nazgul. So then I'm like triple Lord of the Nazgul with like triple the wraiths and like, I'm getting that ring back, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the time that multiple doctors tardised into the world of Lord of the Rings and ganged up with Sauron and the Nazguls to defeat the uh, good guys? That Remember was like that? the best episode. <laughs> it was such a great episode. Yeah. What is Magic the Gathering anymore? <laughs> All right, uh, well, today's episode is sponsored by CoolStuffInc.com. Use the promo code WORST to get a discount when you shop there. And Ultimate Guard, who provides the sweet, sweet protective sleeves that keep my shiny any dinosaur shining. So please check out those links in the description, show your love for the show, and let's dive in. Let this nonsense begin. All right, Gina won the die roll again, and you go first, but I don't have a pregame action. No? Good. 
All right, Forrest, tap for a Birds of Paradise. Ooh, oh, good call. Okay. There we go. Yeah, draw for turn. I'll play a mountain. And pass. Bolt mm. the bird. Bolt Bolted. the bird. Bolted. Sorry. On. I, I, There's I can't. only one reasonable response. I will play Underground Sea and pass the turn. Draw. Exotic Orchard, make green because of Gina. Play Delighted Halfling. Done. Untap. Draw. All right, I'm gonna play a forest, and I'm gonna tap all three of these for Champion of Lamholt. Wow. A fun thing to have early in the game. And I guess. Pretty good with uh, your commander when we can't block. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll draw for turn. <clears throat> play an island. Tap two for a Demir Signet. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Blake. At the end of your turn, I will cast Consider. Put island in the graveyard and draw a card. Untap, draw for turn, drowned catacombs, and my own Demir Signet. Oh. Mm. And then I'll pass to CGB. Untap, draw. I'll play a Polluty Duty. <laughs> and I'll play my own Demir Signet. I will not. I will <laughs> I'll pass the turn to Gina. <laughs> Untap, draw. I'm going to play a Plains. I'm going to tap a green. For a wild growth, I'm going to enchant this other forest I have. Gina, you gotta relax. You are <laughs> ramping. <laughs> so I will tap the mana I can for my commander, Elevir, and a little fox on her shoulder. So whenever another creature enters the battlefield under my control, I can put a plus one, plus one counter on the champion. Let's get that fun going. Boop. And since my commander entered, I can create a virtuous roll token and attach it to a target creature I control. I'm going to give it to the champion. So what does a virtuous roll do? Uh, the enchanted creature gets plus one, plus one for each enchantment I control. So right now I have two enchantments, so the champion is a four, four. Seems good, and when it hits somebody, you draw a card. Yeah! You know, and we can't block with creatures that have less than four power. Jesus. Yeah. I just want to say, you only get benefit from the camp block ability if you attack CGB. That is not <laughs> nutty. I didn't read that on the card. I'm you just like, well, he's the only one with a creature. Yeah, yeah, get the damage in while you can, right? <laughs> I mean, choose your target. You did win the last game. It's technically correct. Okay, I, I will be trying to attack you for four. Hmm, you're gonna make me do it? You make me kill it? No. I mean, I can't kill him. I, I can't. You, you can't let him do that. You can't let him do that to you. Yeah, in response, I'm going to crack the balloony duty, and I'm going to go fetch a tap land, and I'm going to take four. And you may draw a card. You got me. You got me. Thank Fear is the you. mind killer, Gina. You have to uh, make him have it. All right, and I pass the turn. Yeah, I'll untap. Draw for a turn. I got a tapped overgrown tomb, by the way. Play a Nephelia Drowned Yard. I'll tap two. For a is it signet. Tap the mountain for the is it signet. Use the blue mana to tap the Demir signet. So I have one of each color, and I'm gonna play a painful truce. Draw X cards and lose X life. Where X is a amount of colored mana. So you gotta draw three. And I you lose three. Draw three. Sequencing God. Oh geez. don't be so polite, Blake. Jeez. Tell me you have to discard the hand size. I do not, I have exactly <laughs> seven. That would have been the best. <laughs> Go ahead, Blake. This game is going horribly. <laughs> I will untap. Draw for turn. I'm going to play a Cavern of Souls. Naming? I was going to name Noble, but I think I should name Wraith. You probably should. <laughs> yeah, fine. I'll name Wraith. And then I've got a little bit of a chill turn. It's all good. I'm going to play Call of the Ring. Yeah, that's pretty Dang. cool. Oh. That's a call. I'm going to pass. <laughs> All right, untap, draw. You're feeding her ancestral mask, by the way. Just want you to know. <laughs> she's not going after me, she's going after you. Yeah, that's <laughs> currently true. Gina and I are friends. Such friends. I didn't like the way you said that. <laughs> Gina, are we not friends? We're good. Okay, good. I'm going to play an ancient tomb, and I'm going to take two points and cast an uncounterable Yarrick the Desecrated, thanks to Delighted Halfling. This is a 3-5 death touch lifelink. If a permanent entering the battlefield causes a triggered ability of something I control to trigger, it triggers an additional time. Examples may include my commander. Ooh. Your turn, Gina. <laughs> Untap. I'm gonna play Reliquary Tower for my land. Hey, you know Max hand size. Yeah. I'm going to tap two for a Timber Paladin, which will plus up my champion. 
That's a different card. Yeah, um, it has a lot of text on there, but basically each time an additional aura is added, it gets a little bit more abilities and a little bit tougher. If there are, if it's enchanted by three or more auras, its base power and toughness is 10-10 with Vigilance and Trample. She was gonna yet. gloss over that? Yeah, yeah. She is saying she <laughs> can't be here, can you be? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine, this is fine. Don't okay. worry about it. Okay. Real question. Is she gonna put a, a, a roll token on that bird of paradise? That's what I wanna know. I wanna know too. <laughs> I'm going to tap two for all that glitters. Uh, enchanted creature will get plus one, plus one for each artifact and enchantment I control. Oh God. Because the Timber Dude. Paladin is an artifact creature, then he counts. Yeah. He is an artifact creature. So that means uh, plus three oh, God. for Elevir. Yep. But so now Elevir is a 7-7. Seven, seven. Yeah, for now, and growing if she attacks. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, this is fine. So I'm going to go to combat with my 7-7 seven, seven and my 5-5, five, five, and also my sweet little bird. But when I turn my commander sideways, I can give somebody a roll, and I feel like my bird is feeling like it should be a little bit stronger. Oh so my I'm going to give it a little roll. So, um... Now the bird gets plus four, plus four. And you didn't mention who you're attacking. Who are who are you attacking? I should mention targets. That feels like a good idea. Your ring, um, earrings are so cute, Gina. Thanks. Damn it! <laughs> Did oh, you do something you new with your nails? Honey! <laughs> you know who didn't notice? I really like the tokens you used last game. <laughs> I really dislike the board wipe you did last Ooh. game. <laughs> Fair enough. So I'm going to send um, Elevir and the champion at Blake okay. and the bird at you. <clears throat> okay. Um, so every time one of the enchanted creatures does combat damage, I get to draw a card. I mean, uh, I can't block because it's flying. And um, you have a champion that has five powers, so blocking's kind of impossible. I also cannot block. I, I have no effects either. So three cards wow. for me. Okay, I'll take taking? four. Yay. How much am I taking? So uh, because of the math uh, that added this up more, <laughs> okay. um, this is actually nine and this is seven now. So, so it's 16? up to 16 coming at you. And nine of its commander? Nine of its commander. Yo, not cool. <laughs> what turn is this? <laughs> I guess Blake doesn't have a removal spell. <laughs> Your sweater's really nice, Gina. <laughs> Thank you, I'll remember that in the future. Okay. And I'll pass. I'll untap, draw for turn. Play a soul ring. Ah, soul ring. Come on, Ben, do something good. I'll play a morphic pool. More mana rocks. I mean, he's doing commander right. He ramped up. Now do something powerful, like kill all of... kill kill her creatures or make your own. Remember, he's the one who's at it, not me. Hey, Gina. Hi, Ben. I like how you didn't attack me this turn. Yes. Oh no, bargains. And I could board right wipe right now. Right now. Right now. But I'm not going to if you don't attack me God, for a turn. Disgusting. This is a role reversal from last one game. One turn, just one <laughs> turn. Ben, you are making mortal enemies of two dangerous yes, mates. But, but the real enemy right here is Dina right now, so. But then why are you doing because oh I want her to look at this guy groveling the power. The Honestly, oh, the power. Truly embarrassing. We could both be dead. <laughs> And he wouldn't and care, he wouldn't and care then he'd wipe the board. And then, yeah. Yeah. Isn't that what pirates are all about, guys? Yeah, <laughs> pirates are all about, guys. <laughs> Yar, ar, that's against the code. Yeah. That's against the code of the sea. That's a betrayal. So, you would like me to leave you alone for one turn. This is some disgusting parlay. In return for a not board wipe. Indeed, Kurt, right now. Yeah. Does it include not messing with any of my stuff for this turn cycle? Ben? Dang it, Ben. I like how he's hesitant. Oh my gosh. I'll agree with that. Oh, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's you fine. can't see me, I can't see you. It's Ben. Don't <laughs> break the deal. He always, forget. Breaks, he forget. always forgets the deal. <laughs> I will tap five to play my commander. Ooh. Admiral Brass. Unsinkable. Enters a battlefield by Mill Four. Let's go. No creatures. Dire Starfleet, Fleet Ravager. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Excavation. Charta Course and Dark Water Catacombs. And he's gonna get a reanimation off that. And there's only one thing to reanimate. So I'll go to combat. 
Give him uh, combat. I, I think you oh. need to clarify with Gina here. You said you weren't going to do anything to her. Dire Fleet Ravager hits everybody. For okay, a third of I their did life. not see that coming, though. That is that is just coincidence. I don't that think... Not, mm, oh, come on. Mm, mm. <laughs> coincidence. You made the deal, bro. Dude, you, should <laughs> tell her, you should tell her what the card does. She okay. might just want you to do it anyway. It's possible. Gina, I'll go to combat. And this is what <laughs> this card I'm does. I'm going to kill her before going to combat. <laughs> No discussion. <laughs> I, I can't do anything about it, okay? Honestly, this oh, is... Oh, it is a May. It is a May. Mm. Okay, I can't Okay, it's okay. a May. Okay, I will explain to you. <laughs> I have Dire Fle Fleet Ravager in my graveyard. It is Menace Dot Touch, and it, when it enters a battlefield, each player loses a third of their life round it up. It is a May ability for my commander, but, like, I didn't really see that coming, you know? I mean... Have you ever heard the phrase, make your bed lie in it? I, no. Okay. <laughs> Ben. Yes. I'll allow it. Oh, <laughs> I, I appreciate your kindness. Oh, no. So, Why are you so groveling in front of her? So I'll go to because combat. Because my sweater is cute. <laughs> that too. In, in addition to your earrings as well. So I'll go to combat. I'll return a pirate from my graveyard. It's a 4-4, and it has haste until in a turn. But when it enters the battlefield, it's Starfleet Ravager. Each opponent, each player. Loses a third of their life, round it up. A third, round it up. And it has a finale counter. So for me, that's going to be 10. So I go to 19. Blake, you went to 16. Dude, I passed at 40. Uh, ben? I'm going to go down. <laughs> Highly divisible. <laughs> 13. It's 12 amounts. <laughs> yep. So I'm going to go down to 24. I think mine rounds up to 14. Yeah. Dude. Yeah, nice quick game two energy. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nothing Crap. else. Till after your, your turn. Oh wait, doesn't your Ravager have haste? It does. So that means you can attack with it this turn and right. combat. Yeah. <laughs> that is, thanks, Mike. I, I appreciate it. You just sounded so confused. <laughs> I mean, as flying menace death or it doesn't, it doesn't have, have flying. flying. But as menace, menace death, death touch and haste. Okay. Well, Blake, you're at you're at sixty. That's true. So you have the least amount of life. So That's very true. CGB take four. This is not <laughs> good. I'll go to fifteen. Dude. <laughs> As I prepare to hopefully untap with my ancient tomb and a big dinosaur I want to cast. Blake, buddy, your turn. Thanks. <laughs> Can't believe I'm saying this, but Blake, do something. Dude, I'm going to try. <laughs> I'll play a swamp for turn. You forgot to pay your two life. Get the ring to tempt you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm the creep down that sick board. Seem good. <laughs> doesn't seem good for you I'm right now, to be honest. Bard. Um, so here's the problem. <laughs> Which one? I don't know. There's too many. <laughs> CGB, I'm gonna need a little. I'm gonna need a little assistance right back. All right, uh, oh, an alley oop, if you will. Yeah, uh, if I have it. I'm gonna spend four. I'm gonna lethal scheme, so destroy target creature, planeswalker. Okay. I'm gonna choose Gina's commander. Not the champion, huh? I can't block either way. Yeah, I guess and that's. Like, yeah, that's, that's legit. That's just the most damage. Yeah, that's legit. So it will. It will die. No surprise. I don't. There's nothing fun I can do on his board because he doesn't have anything fun on his board right now. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> All right. Commander's going away. Oh. Just have to slap me for 60. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe next time. <laughs> All right, so all that glitters goes to the graveyard. CGB? That was it. What else do you want from me, bro? The best you can do. That's all I got. Okay. Uh, all right, I'll untap, I'll draw. Let's see what you got. Is, I, yeah. is it so much better than me? Probably. It better be insane. I, I'm really good at stuff, so who knows? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm gonna play this island and I'm gonna uh, tap my manas and take two. And I'm going to cast Indominus Rex. Now I do have one colorless floating from the ancient tomb. And this is gonna enter the battlefield and trigger twice because of Yarrick. So first trigger. I'm going to discard an Elder Gargaroth. That means that the Indominus Rex is going to have Vigilance, Reach, and Trample counters upon it. And I'm going to draw three cards. All right, so I will resolve the first trigger and draw three. I will resolve the second trigger and I drew three. This still has three counters on it. The second trigger resolves, I draw three more. Dang. Yeah. I don't think that attacking for three life is going to do anything, so I'm not going to. I'll just move to my and step, and I'll discard all these lands that came to hurt me. <laughs> what if Hills Missy Rainforest Watery Grave? <laughs> uh, and yeah, that, I'm really relieved. I got to enjoy my fourth turn. 
Go ahead, Gina. <laughs> Sounded like a fun one. Untap. Oh. All right, I'm gonna play a Savannah for my land. Blake, Do it. you killed my commander. Yeah, I did. <laughs> it was a lethal scheme. I don't feel bad about this. Are you gonna attack with your 1-1 one one or is that a blocker? Um, yeah, I'll attack with that too. I should have kept my mouth shut. I, should, I, should, I shouldn't have asked. I shouldn't. So how much so damage? So that's a 6-6, six, six, a 3-4, and a 1-1. One, one. So I have 10 coming towards you. Now let me look at my hand real quick. Yeah, no blocks. Ben? You done? Uh, yeah, I'm just um, flooded. Flooded. Okay. Oh, holding back. I'll end it. I'll but tap five. Okay. And play a port razor. We love this guy, right? Oh my god. <laughs> no. When he deals combat damage to a player, untap each creature you control. After this combat phase, there's an additional combat phase. Oh no. You can't attack a player that has already attacked this turn. Oh no. You bamboozled Genie, you didn't even play your board wipe. It's gonna I be did not. so I didn't much promise pain. the board. I promised I wouldn't do it last turn. I didn't. I'm gonna punish him for it. <laughs> yeah. it like, unless he kills me, I'm gonna beat him to death with this dinosaur for not Honestly, board wiping. I'm gonna yeah. do three. <laughs> And I'll play Stormfleet Negotiator. Flying and when it attacks, it Power does stuff. Rain. It's a 2-2. Two -two. Oh, it does stuff. Kind of like how <laughs> her thing becomes kind of big at some point. Yeah, yeah it does. I, stuff. I took her strategy. Um, when it attacks, each player reveals a top card of their library. For each non-land card revealed this way, you create a map token. Then each player draws a card. Look at that. Group hug. Parlay! There we go. Okay, I'm going to go to combat. I will attack Emerald Brass. Little old me. Little yes, little you're right. CGB. No, you're little little you. And then Dire Fleet Ravager is gonna attack CGB, and that's it. Just finish the job. <laughs> that's what I'm here for. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. What? I can block that. It's a menace death touch. It is a menace death touch. Not a great block for you. Not yeah, great, right. but I could get exiled. I would gain three life. Mm -hmm. My Dino would be in the graveyard. I may have reasons that that's a good thing. I'm gonna double block. Wow. Bring it on. Okay. Bring it on, Dire Fleet Ravager. You bring it. Pat <laughs> Benatar me. Hit me with your best shot. Like what about you? Are you gonna block? <laughs> <laughs> After due consideration, I won't. All right. Uh, so Dire Fleet dies, Indominus Rex dies, Yarrick dies, I gain three. Do you feel good about taking candy from a baby? Basically? I'm going to leave my commander Sometimes. in the graveyard. <laughs> On the candy. Yeah. I'm leaving my commander in the graveyard. Oh. This is huh. how it should be announced at tables. Okay, Blake, go ahead. Have your... I can't wait. <clears throat> can't believe you're still alive. Would you like to pay two life? The ring could tempt you. Death is tempting me, <laughs> so <laughs> I'm not going to because I don't have a target. I'm going to spend five and we're going to pray that this Lorian revealed will reveal a victory. What? Or a way to survive. It's a pretty expensive draw three. I mean, that's not going to do much. I mean, unless they leave you alone. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they're going to. Um, I'm going to pass. All right, I will untap. Don't worry, I'm right there with you, Yeah, I think. dude. All right. <laughs> draw. The dead leading the dead. Command tower. Pay two for Ancient Tomb. Breach the, oh. the multiverse. <laughs> oh! Okay. Everybody mill 10, and oh. I will put a creature or oh planeswalker from each graveyard on the battlefield under my control. This is tough! You guys are, you guys are ruthless. All right, uh, so Spark Double is going to be a delighted halfling because it has to be. Malcolm is going to enter because it's a flyer. Paradise Druid is my only option from Gina. And because I treat myself better than any of y'all treat me, I'm getting an Elder Gargaroth. That was a hilarious. You hit like. <laughs> At least I hit. You basically yeah, hit five mana of our stuff. I did. I got. <laughs> this is the game I'm playing today. Your turn, Gina. <laughs> Untap. I'm gonna play um, Hall of Heliod's Generosity for my land for turn. Okay. I'm gonna tap six for my commander. Welcome back, Alavir. And now that you have entered the battlefield, I'm also gonna give the virtuous roll to the Timber Paladin. And now because it's enchanted as a base power toughness three three. All right, when Elevir enters, I will use her Enter the Battlefield effect to make Timber Paladin virtuous, and the champion will get ticked up one more. Hmm. So now I have four enchantments. So uh, these have a plus four. Yep. 
And the champ's an 8-8, eight, eight, so nothing can block it. Or any of your creatures. Yes. So I have uh, 19 damage I could distribute right now. And... Um, Before you attack, remember, you might need me to help kill Ben. I'm just saying. I think our truce <coughs> is over now. Like, we had that deal, yeah, right? Yeah. Is the deal done? It's come and gone, yeah. We did it. I would agree. Yeah. So how about I swing 19 at you? All did, of it? What? <laughs> All of it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Oh, boy. Um, and they're really... all unblockable, right? Yeah, you can't oh, block. Okay. Yeah, you mm. can't block any of it. Huh. Yeah, I'll, I'll take 19. So you're gonna draw three cards. Ah, uh, your turn. That gleeful, your turn. <laughs> I'm tapping seven for a kindred dominance. I will choose pirate. Destroy this... all creatures of the not chosen type. So you're destroying all non-pirates? Yes. You get to keep one of yours, though. I do. I get to keep Malcolm. I do, because it's one of yours. Right, yeah. It's um, on the stack. Uh, no response. Oh, okay, yeah, kaboom. Right. I'll go to combat. Reanimation. I'm going to bring back Breach's Eager Pillager. It's a good one. First strike, he's now a 4-4 four, four instead of a 3-3 three, three, with a finality counter. <laughs> uh, whenever a pirate you control attacks, choose one that has been chosen that this turn. Create a treasure token. Target creature can't block this turn. Exile the top card of your library. You may play it this turn. Port Razor is attacking Blake and the rest at CGB, which is two in the air, three on the ground, and three on the ground for strike. Okay, you've got triggers because you yep. attacked with three pirates, so you get all three breaches mm -hmm. triggers, and you have the Stormfleet Navigator trigger. So breaches, uh, you have to declare targets. Yeah, I'll create a treasure token. Your creature can't block this turn. My one Malcolm yes. can't block. Cool. Your one card. Cool, cool, cool. And I'll exile the top card. Top card is Lauren Revealed. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> if you had the mana, that would yeah. be nice. Can't. All right, uh, Stormfleet Navigator, how does this work? Uh, we all reveal the top card of our library. If it's a non-land card, I get a map token for each. And then each player draws a card. Boom. Land. Not land, artifact. Creature. So, three non-lands? Yeah. So, so three map tokens? Uh, before damage hey. is assessed, I would like to pay one white to swift reconfiguration your port razor. I would like to enchant it, and now it's a vehicle artifact with crew five and loses all of its abilities. <laughs> Me. Ha ha, your port razor's a ship now. <laughs> It's the me pirate ship. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, let's sail Jimmy into battle. <laughs> 2024 model Tesla port razor. <laughs> okay. Uh, wow, was Blake, are you going to live again? I guess so. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, I can't block because of breaches. So I'm taking whatever your damage is there. Uh, three, six, eight. Uh, breaches came back as a four, four, right? Oh, yes. Yeah, sorry, nine. I will pass. And play Temple of the False God. I'm going to play. Jeweled Lotus. Whoa. Ooh. Okay. It's, gonna good. Temp it's good time to pop off, dude. I'm going <laughs> to tap Temple, Sack, Jeweled Lotus, tap Swamp, and I'm going to cast Lord of the Nazgul. I'm going to pay, pay a blue. I'm going to cast Preordain. Uh, that will trigger and give me a Wraith. It begins. I'll scry two to the bottom. All right. Um, with my floating colorless uh, left over from Temple of the False God, I will use Demir Signet to play a Lightning Greaves. Mm hmm. Okay. I'm going to equip Lightning Greaves to Lord of the Nazgul. Mm. I have to pass, or I have a high chance of dying. So, yeah, go ahead. It's a pretty good move. Yeah, you could put me to one, but I, I'm coming right back. There's at nothing you. I want to do more than put you to one, CGV. <laughs> All this, and he still wants to kill me. <laughs> I'm a man of simple pleasures. <laughs> Far seek. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Animate dead. Okay. Mm. Elder Gargaroth. He's back. I'm here for it. Reanimate. Jeez. Spark double. Go to oh, one. Oh, oh Elder yeah. Gargaroth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. The Jeez. biggest Elder Gargaroth. Elder Gargaroth. Seven. Done. Oh. I'm gonna 
play Yavamaya Cradle of Growth for my land for turn, which should make my tapping simple. I'm going to tap three for Tangle Span Lookout, a uh, satyr, and whenever an aura enters the battlefield under my control, I can draw a card. And I'm going to play uh, green and a white for Sithis Harvest Hand. Whenever I cast an enchantment, I can gain a life and draw a card. And then I'm gonna tap three for Shield of the Oversoul, which is an enchantment aura. I can enchant a creature, and as long as the creature is green, it gets plus one, plus one, and is indestructible. As long as it is white, it gets plus one, plus one, and has flying. This one's green and white. It could have both, mm -hmm. right? So I'm going to use it on Sithis. And I'm going to draw two cards. And gain a life. Dang. Everything is summoning six, so I will pass the turn. Okay. I'm tap four. For a crippling fear, choose a creature <laughs> type. Creatures that aren't the chosen type get minus three, minus three until end of turn. What are you choosing? I'm going to choose pirate. <laughs> Did you seriously just wipe the board again? Maybe. Uh, Blake, responses? Blue Mage? Yeah, but you won't like it. <laughs> okay. Um, do what you gotta no, do. No, I'll let you, I'll let it do its thing. That really is very rude. I mean, it's bad. really bad for you. I mean, I can't stop this from happening, so okay. we just gotta let it happen. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I also am not responding. I don't have a response. So, minus three, minus three. I'm gonna tap three and play broadside bombardiers. Please, no menace more. haste. Sacrifice another creature or artifact. Broadside bombardiers deals damage equal to two plus the sacrifice permanence mana value to any target. Oh, so God. we can only do it once per turn. I mean, it's a boast trigger. And we'll go to combat. Yeah, he's going to, combat. <laughs> going, like, to he's going to combat. Like he's going to combat. I know. Like I'm going to combat. Does he get his? Brass trigger. Can we get that done? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I that's will fine. Get Do your brass. Captain Lannery Storm back. Has haste, great. Has haste with a finality counter. Also a 4 4 this turn. Yeah. When it attacks, I get create a treasure token. Whenever I sacrifice a treasure, it gets plus 1 plus 0 oh until end of turn. I will attack Admiral Brass at Blake and the rest at Gina. All right, I'll Create a treasure token from Captain Lannery Storm and Breaches, going up to three treasure tokens. Uh, Gina, your Sithis cannot block this turn. I will exile the top card, which is a shipwreck mark. I may play it this turn. Cool. Put that over here. And then we'll parlay. Everybody parlay! No. Nah, oh my god! Ooh. Oh, I don't have my commander. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, so no. That's... Oh, that's so sad. That's so lame. So that's three. I Looks got like it. it. Yep, yep, yep. Three in the map tokens. Oh, uh, you get to draw six. that card. It doesn't get it. Oh, yeah, my bad. I'm going to sacrifice my soul ring <laughs> to broadside bombardiers and hit CGB's face for three damage because it's plus two. Give me that soul ring. Here you go. <laughs> and I what a way to go! Soul ring being flung at me by a pirate. What a sad way to go! All right, uh, Gina, you got all that coming at you. You have twelve coming at you. I will take twelve. And Blake, you have the three. Admiral Brass. Yeah, I die. I was gonna Odawara. I can't anymore because you killed my commander with your stupid minus three minus three. One mana short. And I'm, yeah. So I die. I eat. <laughs> <laughs> I'll play that Wreck Marsh from Exile. I'll tap two for that Fell War Stone. And I'll pass. I'm still here. Yes. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm going to play Exotic Orchard. I'm going to tap eight. Bring back Elevator of the Wild Court. And now that she's here, she's gonna create a virtuous role. I'm gonna give it to Sithis. Sithis is a seven, eight, and she's flying. Okay. <laughs> you hear the patter yeah. of her feet? <laughs> <laughs> well, what are you Happy gonna do feet. with her? Happy feet at I'm the gonna table. attack you with Sithis. I 
I have a response. Oh. What's your response? I'm gonna sacrifice two treasures, going to one. To Siren's Ruse. Exile target creature, oh, I control. Then return that card to the battlefield on your control. It still yeah. doesn't matter. Block. I'm gonna flicker Stormfleet Negotiator to oh my. declare a block and I'll draw a card because that's a pirate. Okay, I guess you got a blocker then. Are you gonna choose the block? I will, I will <laughs> yes, Blake, I will that's choose the block. It's a great play. Uh, that Stormfleet Negotiator definitely bit the dust. <sighs> did its job though, you know? It, it, it did. It died with honor. <laughs> All right, Ben, you had the answer to Sithis. I couldn't get the attack through. You've got all sorts of things you can do to me on the next turn, so I will just concede. Oh. Good job. Good game. Damn. Oh, good job, Ben. Oh, man. Good game. It was a pleasure taking these two down with you, though. <laughs> uh, I, uh, political Ben. Yeah. In 2023, yeah. remember the new Ben year, that just took. Ben. Remember the Ben that just took every deal handed. I know. You can I just <laughs> make up anything, and he would take it. My favorite Ben is the Ben that forgets about the deals he makes. And then I, just... I know, and as a pirate, uh, like, like, he's, I know. A, he's a diplomatic pirate. What? Yeah. Unbelievable. <laughs> oh. uh, nice game, you guys. Uh, so let's find our CoolStuffInc.com card of the game. All right, it's time for the CoolStuffInc.com card of the game. Use the promo code WORST at checkout and pick up some sweet cards of the game and get a discount and show your love for the show. My card of the game, Elder Gargaroth. <laughs> I kept thinking more Gargaroth would solve my problem. The truth is the most that this card did was draw me three cards when I played my commander that one time. Yeah. Actually, six cards. That was and, crazy. And I never drew another creature off the wow. top to discard <laughs> two future instances of my commander. So it just spiraled too quickly. Like, I was untapping and playing my fourth land, and I was already under lethal threat. I mean, like, uh, Gina had a gross board. Ben flips direfully whatever. Uh, so, Gina, card of the game. Well, first off, I just gotta say, I really love my commander. I definitely want to play this deck again. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, I like playing with all the enchantments. But my card of the game is gonna be Swift Reconfiguration, because I really liked turning Ben's creature <laughs> into a vehicle, so he couldn't have that second combat. Yeah, the fact he's got Flash, one way, man, it's a good card. Yeah. yeah, super tricky for sure. That's one of my favorites, because in some decks, like, you save your own creatures with it by turning them into vehicles. They don't get blown up in a board wipe, but other times you just mess up an opponent's plan. <laughs> ben, champ, What's pirate lord of the seas. <laughs> card of the game. It was Sire's, Siren's Ruse, for sure, just because I was able to block a lethal threat and then just, you know. The whole so game was team. a freaking Siren's Ruse from you, man. <laughs> Dude. Just, the, the, all kinds of shenanigans. Yeah. Oh, Gina. Oh, Gina, please don't attack me. Oh, Gina. I'm going to let everyone else die, Gina. That's you. <laughs> Is that really? Yeah, I'm going to reconsider deals from Ben in the future. He, he, he might be the greatest pirate we've ever seen. Oh, Gina. <laughs> Actually, Blake, when you played pirates, did you win? No, no. you didn't. You got bodied by Emrakul. I remember I did. now. I did. <laughs> when I played pirates, did I win? No. No, I definitely did not win. When I played pirates the second time? Did you win? No. No? I had a great start, and then no. But then, Arr. one time playing pirates, one victory. That's scoreboard. That is a scoreboard. That's scoreboard <laughs> moment. I don't want to be his friend anymore. Anyway, do you have a card of the game, Blake? Yeah, we, we like to do high impact cards, of high course. High impact cards, only. So I like to call of the ring <laughs> as my card of the game. I played it on when I had four mana because I had nothing else to do, and it promptly did nothing. I spent two mana to discard a card. It was great. I remember when the set came out, and before like we really got to play with it, this was pre-ordering at like $10 or mm -hmm. something like that. I promise you it's substantially cheaper now. <laughs> <laughs> I did not get $10 on that card. That game. <laughs> not exactly. So go pick up a slightly lower price copy so you too can have a high impact on your commander games. <laughs> and uh, wow, you're, 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 you are a high quality shill, Blake. Well, yeah, if you guys need any advice on how to use Call of the Ring, ask CGB in Discord. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I love Discord messages That's about okay. Call of the Ring. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you uh, very much for watching to the end. That is the number one way that you can support the channel. Thank you very much to CoolStuffInc.com and to Ultimate Guard for sponsoring. And from all of us here at the Worst Possible Commander Show, to all of you at home, you're cool.
yard. <laughs> <laughs> He's a terrible pirate. <laughs> He's got to be the worst pirate I've ever seen. <laughs> I got that one. <laughs> nice, good job, boys. <laughs> He's got to be the greatest pirate I've ever seen.